everybody. This is Alice Osborne. I am reading my poem, How to Remove a Carpet Stain for National Poetry Month and for next chapter books. This is from my most recent poetry book, Heroes Without Capes. And here I am in downtown Raleigh in beautiful Moore Square. How to Remove a Carpet Stain. The Big Dipper splotch mocks me at the top of the stairs, guarding the bathroom, delighting in permanence not coffee, tea, or dirt. Motor oil, perhaps, but how the hell did a member of my household spill fuel from their hands or a plastic cup before going to bed? Boiling water, baby shampoo, toothbrush, prayer. This stain is like a pole dancer clinging to carpet fibers before closing time. I call the carpet guys and they blame me for playing Lady Macbeth. But in the wetness of now scrubbed wall to wall, the stain remains. A hero who remembers that moment of glory when stranger's thoughts only centered on him and now refuses to disappear. Poem, one of, probably one of my most popular ones called The Lesbians Next Door. I wondered if being gay was contagious, if my parents would stop loving me if I liked girls. I remember dad saying, it's good to have two kids just in case one is gay. After the three women moved into the raised ranch next door, they only allowed women to work on their house. Female plumbers, carpenters, roofers. Mom quickly sized up the roommates before they unpacked their boxes. She told me not to talk to them or to their yellow dog who had a different name every Thursday. Mom and dad imagined their wild sex life and I'd shut my ears when I'd catch on their lips, daughters of Sappho, Isle of Lesbos, lesbian. One drove a Jeep and worked for UPS. Another sunbathed in her orange bikini every Saturday afternoon. And the fat one supplied the groceries. All had short hair. Some night I spied their big party on their gray concrete patio from my side window. My former PE teacher even came. The women walked in and out of the sliding glass door, beers in their hands, nodding to the Pointer Sisters jump for my love, and I'm so excited. They hugged, kissed. I stood on my twin bed, head tucked like a turtle under my white roll-up shade, eyelashes to the glass. I wondered why the fat one told them all to come in, later realizing the streetlight cast a silhouette of my 12-year-old head. <laughs>